Hi, so this is the ASUS TP301U. there's actually 10 screws here. And they are just normal Phillips head screws. So let me zoom in here. Is the equipment that I have is just a normal screw. I'm gonna try to change out the SSD drive, which is my purpose of all of this. And I have various cards because I know these are going to be snapping. They're, they're just not going to be removable. So I could stick it just like a guitar pick. And if I need various thicknesses, I'll And what I'll you want to do them. is uh, these screws might be different lengths. So you don't necessarily want to just throw them in a bucket. You, you want to order them in a particular way that you took them out. So you'll notice the, the difference between the lengths, that the front ones are a lot shorter. The, the backing here. And you do, you do want to use plastic be, because you, you don't want to damage any of this stuff with metal. So I want to choose an opening that is uh, exposed. And unfortunately, lots of these things are sealed pretty good. I'm just hoping... Alright. So, so it's a little bit more difficult for me simply because I am trying to do this on film. I see this front here. See, this is a little bit too thick. I need something that's a lot thinner. But, but you'll see, so, so this, this one's starting to work. And there you go. It's as simple as that, which, which is awesome. Because I was actually able to do it easily on the first take. And, and now, just uh, just want to make sure it doesn't close up on me again while I put, get the thicker ones. You'll, you'll see here, that's all I'm doing. And, and what I'm going to do is just use this and slide it all the way across. So I'm simply sl sliding this all the way across now. And so let me set this aside. could see as I set this aside now I just want to take the camera out and give you a closer look here at where where this where these components are So, so that, that's the hard drive. So you notice that's the battery there obviously at the top. Just want to show you in detail how all this stuff is arranged. So the R hard drive has a cover, but you'll see there's just one screw here. And another screw behind this. And also another screw here. So you take out those three screws and the hard drive can be lifted out and then you can replace it with, you know, this is my SSD. That's the Wi-Fi card and there's the memory behind this which needs to be lifted with clips. I'll see if I could actually get that off. So the trickiest one screw is this one.
And those are the three screws. Now I believe, yep, so all I have to do is lift this up now. And you can see there's the hard drive screws on the side here. But what I want to do, and you have to be very careful because there's wires here. So let, let me let me show you that. So, so to the side here. So so this is the hard drive, and you'll see to the side here, there's some wires along the casing. So that's something you, you want to be very careful of. So let me take this off first. So I'm just sliding that out, sliding this out. It's half out. So now this is the SATA cables disconnected. You'll see that's the hard drive tray. And let me do the easy stuff first, <laughs> removing this. Unscrew this, so this is the tougher screw. I'm gonna go for this one first. And once again, it's a little bit tougher for me to do this on film in real time. But I should, otherwise I'd be a little bit more patient here. As you can see, that now I'm just, you know, un unsticking these wires. And now this is easily, a little bit more easily accessible. I could take out the whole drive. So there's just other wires here. So now I have this whole drive out and you could see the hooks to put in the wires. And it was, it was just a matter of taking out this tape here. And once I have that out, th this is basically, you, you'll see there's this raised part that blocks me from taking out the hard drive that is taped in. So I have to actually take this tape out and lift the hard drive out. It's a little bit of a pain you see what I'm doing here so there you go you see that and it's the same with this piece of tape at the back here and again it's just sticky tape that they're using and once you do that you see you just lift it up and the hard drive just comes out and I could fit the other hard drive in. So let's compare the sizes of these. Luckily they are the same size, actually mine's is a little bit thinner. So or, or actually do this. You'll see this is a little bit thinner, but obviously the SSDs, they're sort of the same size. And you'll see that's the SSD that comes with it. And I will be putting in this one gig, uh, one terabyte. Of course, I, I have to load some software in here, so I'm not going to do that right away. But you could see that is how you do it. Now, I do want to give you a close up of the memory part, even though I'm not doing the memory. You know, at least it'll give you an idea. 
So what people normally do with this with this uh, memory encasement is that there are it's it's hard to see here, but there are things sticking out, and people use needle nose pliers or pliers just on those ends, and they pull it out. And I think you could see that one right there. See that case sticking out? There's one here, and there's actually one in every corner. So unfortunately, I, I don't actually have needle nose pliers, so I have two little flatheads, and I'm just going to try to lift that up. And again, this wasn't my purpose here, so I don't want to... Okay, so you see that. That's all that was needed, is just using a flathead and simply lifting it up from that corner there. And you'll see there's tape here, so you can't really completely take that out, nor, nor would you want to. As you can see now, that is the memory in terms of the, the case here. So all I did was put my flathead underneath that, and I lifted it up. So that is just, you know, lifting it up like that. And you can see that that's just a normal memory module that you see here. And all the spots are filled. It's whether I could replace this with an 8 gig or not. So that's really all there is to it. And please subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.